Grace. Hello, Jock. Um, can you first tell us about this new deal you've signed, Sound of the Lions? Yeah, no, yes, like it's a, it's a great opportunity and honor, Jock, to, uh, to have an, to the, for the trust they have in me for another two years. So, uh, you know, with the young team we have and uh, the right ex experience, guys, the future look, looks very good. So it's a big honor and I thank God for the opportunity and that we can carry on and, and, and do what, finish what we started. Were, were, I mean, were there some doubts and thoughts of perhaps going abroad like so many players and coaches do nowadays and had there been some offers maybe? Yes, yeah, there's been opportunities, uh, to, to be honest, Jock. Uh, you know, that is a big world out there and, uh, but yeah, I, 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 after big consideration with my family and, and everyone and my agent, uh, James Adam, so we, uh, we came to the conclusion that it's the right thing to stay. We haven't finished what we started. And that was basically the thing. It was never about other stuff that I read in the paper and stuff. It was never about that. It was about, they would know, that, you know, to do what we love and carry on with it. We've got 721s in the squad, imagine, two years' time. So that's all the stuff that stuck with me. And then working with a fantastic group of players, it's a special, you don't find it all, I don't, can't think we, you know, the kind of quality leaders we have in this team. It just makes it so, so nice and I'm looking forward to come to work in the morning. Yeah, so. could, we, could we then see more, more of the, 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 the older players staying with the last because of your decision? Look, it's still their decision. They, everyone must make up his own mind. I'll bless a player if he must go. And if he looks at his options and it's that time of the year, I would just like us to settle as quickly as possible. Uh, that that we know who's the coaches carrying on with us and who's the players. So yeah, Rudolf, that's uh, uh, that's what I want. So it's what do you would mean job done, job complete? What would be like, what would be satisfaction? Yeah, just to, to to just to improve still what we're doing and to play a better brand and make a difference in their lives and and see if we can then have a bonus, maybe get some the right cups and stuff. But it's not about the cup; it's about reaching maximal potential in a lot of uh, in the steam and we, we're not there yet we're striving to get there but uh, it looks very promising I must say I you know that uh, you've got to look at the team and the individual I love it when one of our youngsters come through and make it there's nothing so fulfilling you know, the day when Malcolm comes through our case, through our system, and the day you hear is a springbok. You know, that, uh, to give you an example, that is very fulfilling. I'm an educator, I'm a teacher, uh, and uh, all my life. And that makes it, you know, that, that makes it worth everything that when you battle and lose, and, and that player comes through and he makes it. That's an individual. And then the team, if you see, there's not many stars, and, they, and suddenly it's like the puzzle just clicks together and they go. It's a feeling you can't describe and that's why I'm so thankful to, 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 to that I can be involved with this. So is your involvement with the Springboks, how does that still going to sort of affect, affect you here by the lines? Uh, Christo, I'm so glad you're asking that. Uh, by the way, you're better, your shoulder better and everything good now. Yeah, yeah, good to see you back. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. What was your question again, Christo? <laughs> <laughs> I know with the with the, <laughs> with the with the spring boxes. We, I, I'm gonna. Uh, Rossi wants me to do the attack there. That's after Super Rugby. I had one day I had to spend with him when we had a lineman camp. That was in our off week. But honestly, now he, uh, I focus 100% on my job at hand and the line. So when that's finished, we'll have two and a half months. There'll be a one or two camps and there'll be games, then we focus on the... And that's Rossi's policy, I promise you guys that. There's no interference at this stage. He wants us to focus in, on what the franchises, the franchises are doing. So can I move to the match this weekend then? Mm -hmm. um, I see you picked a few at 13. Um, just your thoughts behind that decision and then after you, Lionel, just your thoughts on playing next to him in the centre. Yeah, firstly, I think you saw when he came on against the Sun Wolves, he was right on song. Uh, he played 10 as a, in his career as, as a schoolboy, and then he played a bit of 13, then full 15, played wing, became a Springbok winger. So he's a footballer wherever you play him. 
Uh, that's one of those things. I think Lionel will, can, will, will tell you that uh, if Lionel plays wing 12 or 13, maybe you should answer that. We They all know the detail and they should slot in. Uh, when you have players in your team that can adapt, it makes it so much easier. So uh, later we'll play him wing again, but there's certain concepts at 13 that is good for him. And it's good for his development. He's still a young player. Uh, we never know if his future maybe is wing or, or 13. At least we gave him a, right, a fair chance there. Maybe played on the wing and a 13, and all of a sudden you're a 12. <laughs> Don't touch that, that's now. <laughs> <laughs> I just love to play rugby. <laughs> Give me the ball and I'll run. <laughs> yeah, I know it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting. Uh, AP came on uh, against the Sunwolves on 13, and he's a natural, foot, a natural footballer. And, uh, we love to play with the natural footballers. I think we only have, I think, one specialist in, in our back line, <laughs> maybe Elton, but he can also slot in at 12 as well. Uh, yeah, it's it's good to obviously just play rugby again, play good play good rugby again, and just looking forward to it. You're up against two sort of very settled players here in the Sharks team, though, who are you know 12 and 13, and you guys have now got Dura in a new position and Abuse <coughs> in a new position. That's a bit of a risk, uh, or, or not so? Uh, opportunity, more than a risk. Uh, we love opportunities. Uh, we're looking forward to it. There's going to be a challenge. We love challenges. Uh, I mean, like I said, AP is a natural footballer. We have a lot of footballers in our back line, and, and it's like it's like easy for us to adapt to one another. So this week, uh, so far, the tra training has been good. Uh, uh, I don't think we, I believe we, 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 had, we had a good week so far, good two days. So I'm, I'm really confident going into this weekend. Sweet. Uh, yeah, kind of brief rest. No, massive boost. Uh, Kyle is just one of those. He's such a team man. You know, he, he doesn't say much. But he talks on the field. So it's so great to have him back. And you can feel the aura around him. When I announced the team and, and I read his name, there was a, a, a nice vibe, you know, within the team. And you always know when you pick the right guy at the right time and the guys react like that, that makes it special. So I hope that answers your question. To be honest, <laughs> I'm not even thinking about that 99th game. Probably could have been 100. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it's been a roller coaster. But it's been a good roller coaster. I mean, uh, obviously, t probably injuries uh, at most. But uh, obviously, you get through them, and that happens in the game. Uh, I think I don't think I, I think about that too much. At the moment is just playing good rugby, you know. And, and this is an important year for us. We've been doing good the last couple of years and obviously want to build on that. So at the moment, it's just all about serving the team and, and actually not just myself. I have to better myself to serve the team. So that's what I'm focusing on. Next. Malcolm, um, I think if you ask most Ginny and rugby followers what would be one of their most ultimate uh, challenges, they would say Malcolm marks against Ake van der you know, giving, <laughs> giving the thing where he came from as well. <coughs> Now that it's not going to happen, are you are you in a way glad or sad about it? <laughs> you know, to be honest, a bit sad. It's it's nice to challenge yourself against a player like Aka. To be honest, um, he always keeps you on your toes, and um, obviously you can see um, throughout his performances throughout the season how well he's been playing. And last year as well, and the year before that, and even when he was at the Lions, um, he's a great player and he's a great guy to measure yourself against because he always brings out the best in you. Welcome, how, what's the mood like and what are your thoughts around coming off the bye into another match on a Friday? The, I think the bar maybe came at the right time because uh, a couple of guys carrying a few little niggles and which in the bar week um, I think we managed to sort out. So, um, I think it came at the right time. The guys I think needed the break mentally as well after six weeks on the trot. So I think um, I think it did us good and, and the Monday and Tuesday or well, Monday and today went really, really well at training. So, so I think it went well. And it's just your thoughts around Carl, who's a guy that you've come a long way with, and that's coming back. 
Yeah, well, I've been at school with Carl and, and Dylan since um, graduate. So, I mean, um, it's nice to see him coming back um, after a seven-month in seven month injury. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, he looks more ready than ever, to be honest. No. So. What do you think he's going to add to the team that you perhaps haven't had up to now? And that's no <coughs> blast on the players who have been playing. Oh, it's hard to say because the players that have been playing have been performing really well, whether they're playing out of position or in position. So, um, yeah, Carl, Carl brings a different aspect to the game. Like Coach Way said, he doesn't talk much. He does all he's doing on the field. So it's the Sharks have a short um, turnaround this week, obviously it's a Friday night game. Um, does that sort of throw the cat amongst the pigeons in terms of preparation? I mean, how do you normally deal with it? Obviously, it does a big deal. We're so used to the shorter week or the longer week. I don't think it's got to influence Liam anymore. You know, it's a case of... Uh, you got to just adapt and, 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 and do it. Uh, sometimes it's good for you to keep momentum, especially if you don't have injuries and the guys played well, then it helps a lot. Then you want to keep the momentum. And sometimes when you battled a bit, maybe you need a bit of a break just to clear the minds. But you can never say. We've, we've, we've had great games after a four-day turnaround or five-day turnaround, and we had, we had even better days after a bye week. So, you know, that's not a thing that, 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 just, that we even worry about or think about. No, no, no. You know we're in a competition, and and you want to win games, and it's a, a it's a game at a time. So so uh, that the, the derby thing is not. Uh, look, I can tell you from them uh, that's going to be very physical. If you want to know that, that's how they they want to take us on and play, and 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 that's how I know they prepare. Uh, but but uh, we we we're ready. But also on that same note, you, you guys have also taken note of what happened with them in that last scrum against the Bulls on Saturday. So you feel maybe that's a that's that's a, a area where they could be vulnerable in the scrums, especially without. No, 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 whatsoever. I think they had a man short at that stage, didn't they? And uh, and it was right at the end. It was we got the the uh, win result against the Rebels with the scrum like that. So that's no. There was 79 minutes before a lot of things happened. I think that was a. Uh, just one of those scrums where the Bulls just eat them off guard. So is the sense of maybe a bit of desperation from them? They've lost two home games, which I'm sure they didn't want to lose. Yeah, they're going to be desperate. They, they, we, we know what, what's coming. So is, um, I know he's probably explosive enough to be considered a backline player, but technically the bench is a 6-2 split. Um, <coughs> is that sort of like an indication of what you guys are expecting in terms of the Sharks' as onslaught, that it might be structured and physical? No, I think I heard it. Did, is it so? <laughs> I was hoping you didn't see that. Uh, okay, so they all pick it up then as well. Yeah, now look, uh, there's one or two of the guys up front that can play in the, in the back line as well. So uh, uh, it's more uh, <laughs> a case of uh, le let's leave it there. <laughs> yeah, they're going to. Uh, gaan, to use Afrikaans, they're going to be very hard to come for. <laughs> so, we must be ready. How much of a threat do you expect from these teams? You know, it's, it's obviously a derby and they're under pressure and you guys come out, come out from, uh, from a bye. How much of a threat do you expect? No, it's going to be a very tough game. Very, it will be an arm wrestle right to the end, I, I predict. They, their whole back line played Springbok rugby. Uh, and then I think most of their pack as well. If you look at their loose forwards and, and you go from beast no, amount of caps he has and Cooney and you carry on, you know, the, the three the, the Priya brothers and they've got so many estrays and is a massive mammoth 12, you know, he's huge and he runs hard. So they, they're very good. They're excellent team and they're well coached and uh, it's going to be real, really tough. Sorry, sir, um, the Lions have lost both their babies uh, and the Sharks have lost all three. Yeah, it's it's hard to say. You know, we, uh, uh, you know, the one down in Western Province could have gone both ways. In fact, at the 83rd minute, we were still in front and lost it in the 84th. So that's how close it is. I don't think you can read too much into the results. The Bulls came and taught us a rugby lesson, as I said, uh, after they beat us, you know, 30-12. Uh, so they pumped us properly. So yeah, that uh, we're not taking too much into into that. You know, the scores are weird. You look at the Sun Wolves now. We'll go and beat the Sun Wolves. They go and beat the Chiefs or the. Uh, who did they play the weekend? The Waratahs. And then the, the, it's 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 not adding up. I I think it's 
it's just very confusing who's going to win on a given day. The side that pitches, it looks like. So it's just lastly on your bench, um, Sylvian and Wadisile, you bracketed them. When are you going to make a call and why have you bracketed them? It's just, uh, I just want to make 100% sure in my mind for the kind of game we want to play, especially in the latter stages of the game. Uh, you know, uh, and, and, and I want, don't want to go too much into that. Uh, Jock, if you don't mind, you know, it's, it's, it's more tactical than anything else. Uh, so it's just talking about tactical. Um, he made a very good impression in Singapore, but what is um, appealing to you about the run for Mark at number eight? Yeah, uh, just about Ruan for Mark, and he's like the rest of our youngsters. Uh, firstly, our, our junior coaches did a great job with these guys because they understand how we play. They slot in like a glove. And the Ruan for Mark, if you play him, he's one of those a few guys that can, is as comfortable at eight, at seven, four, or five. And, uh, you know, from his Monas days, uh, that came through. He's just a. I, I, I want to predict it that if he's not injured and he stay humble, and it doesn't go to his head, which I believe it won't, because he's, he is a humble guy. He's gonna, he's gonna go all the way. It's just a matter of time. He's really, really a talented player. Do you want to ask your, your question now? Um, For your camera? Do you want to do it afterwards? Okay. We have a one-on-one with.